Good day and welcome to video number 12 of the 2023 Level 1 NCA Math and Stats Paper Demonstrate Mathematical Reasoning. Paper number is 91947 and this is a pilot assessment because for the first time in 2024, this standard will be assessed externally. So to pass this internal, whether you get achieved merit excellent, you will get 5 credit. So without further ado, let's do question 3B and it's going to be quite com complex. So listen carefully because you are going to solve the graph. So we're going to draw the graph. Before we do that, we are going to read the question. Using the set of x's provided below, draw the graph 3x squared minus 14x minus 120 and y equal to 10x plus 24. So we let this be the y1, the first graph, and y2 is the quadratic graph. Okay, Use your graph to solve that equation and we shall do that. That two equation is going to be the point of intersection of the two graphs. Hopefully you can see the graph. Uh, make it brighter now. Okay, great. So... So to do that, uh, I'm going to use the graphic calculator because it's going to be much easier, but you can do it manually. So go to the graph section. Okay, can you find the graph? Then you press execute. Okay, and then you're going to key in. The first equation is 10x plus 24. So just press 10. X is the button below the red button. X plus 24. Then to get the second graph, you have to execute. And the second graph is... 3x squared minus 14x minus 120. So 3x is the button below the red button. x squared, okay, minus 14x is again below the red button. And then minus 120 and you execute them, okay. Of course, you can draw if you want, but that doesn't make any sense because the graph is so huge. You need to adjust the, the x-axis and y-axis to be able to be able to see the graph. So rather than that, we go to menu again, and this time we go to table, okay. Table, and you can see when you draw a table, press the table button, and you get a table there, okay. So 1 is 34, and for the first graph is uh, y is going to be 34, and the second graph is minus 131. 2 will be the following numbers, and then we are going to plot the graph. So I have reproduced the graph, the table here. Okay, look here. Okay, so when x is 1, y is 34, and the second graph is minus 131. And then for the, when x equal to 2, is going to be, x is 44, y is 44, and y is minus 136. And x equal to 3 is 54 and minus 135. Of course, we need to get the other numbers on the on the left-hand side of the graph. So we're going to put 0. So when we press 0, we just put execute. And then the answer will be 24 and minus 120. So in minus 1, just press minus 1 in your calculator. Execute. And they'll give you 14 and then minus 103. And then when you want minus 2, just press minus 2, execute, and it's going to be 4 and minus 80. And last but not least, minus 3, execute, and the answer is minus 6 and minus 51. And we have a table of x and y, 1 and y, 2. Once we have done that, we're going to plot this graph, this point, onto the graph. So for a linear graph, can okay, we keep away? So we got the table. Once we got the table now, for example, if you want to get... The linear graph, you need three points. So we have chosen three points, zero, negative one, and the other one is a three, okay? So when x is zero, y is 24, so zero, 24 is this point here. Minus one is 14, minus one, 14 is this point here, minus one and 14. And then the next point is three and 54. Three is here and 54. So once you got the three line, just draw the line and that will give you an achieve, okay? To get the quadratic graph, you need at least five points. So you need to plot three minus one, three, five, two minus one, three, six, one minus one, three, one. Plot them, and you can find in in our case because we are short of time, we're going to do only three points. So three is going to be minus one, three, five. So three here and minus one, three, five is going to be that point. Next one is going to be zero. Zero is minus one, twenty. Zero minus one, twenty is here, and then the last point we use is fourteen. I uh, thought minus one is going to be. Minus 103. Minus 1 is minus 103. So we got 3 points. But in fact, you should do at least 5 to 7 points to be able to draw the quadratic graph. <coughs> Excuse me. So once you have done the graph, the most important thing is to find the point of intersection of this graph. So the point of intersection appears here. 
and here. So the answer, if you can't see, is going to be minus 4 minus 16, or the second one is 12, 144. So you can get that. That is an excellent. As I said, if you have a graphic calculator, it's going to be a lot easier. If you don't have them, you have to substitute 3 into the both equation. You have to substitute 0 into both equation and minus 1 into both equation to get the table. It will take more time, but with a graphic calculator, you can do it very, very quickly. So hope you understand this, and I'll see you for the last question, which is question 3C. Cheers, everyone. Have a great day.